can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you What's up guys, welcome back to welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be working on the M4, hopefully getting a lot of the front end together. Now that we're back, so we have a few things that we need to knock out from the get-go, and then we're trying to make this thing look as good as possible and as presentable as possible. So first things first, we do need something that actually holds up the oil cooler. So when I put on the whole radiator support, it should hold up the oil cooler, and it should mount up right here. It should hold this thing in place. The only thing it's not gonna be bolted onto is right here, but uh, the frame shop is able to remove it if they need to. We're just putting this on the car because they're gonna need it at the frame shop so we might as well have it on the car because I can't really transport it inside the trunk so we're just gonna have it on the car and give it to them all as one piece first things first though we do need the piece that goes here we have it on this side this piece we threw it somewhere back there let's go find it it's gonna be a mission So we found the junk piece after going through all of our garbage. Oh, that's so satisfying. Oh my God, it looks so good. It's so all assembled. <laughs> now it's finally a clean title. <laughs> I want every single piece to be original. Like we have, we don't have a cracked intake box anymore. Um, actually, this one we put it back in here now. Goes in like that, like that. Perfect. Uh, that hose. Ex we got a brand new hose. Well, used one, but without kinks or whatever. Put that in there. Uh, this is a little weird. It's like kind of big. I'm assuming it has to go around something. Um, but regardless, that's good. Um, at this point, I'm actually thinking we should put on the front clip. So. What do you think? Yeah, it's gonna be easy. Then uh, let's try putting on the front clip. All right guys, so we have the brand new front clip. So there are a few little things, like this is slightly bent, not a big deal, but for the most part, other than these little side things for the, the headlight supports, everything else is in perfect shape. You have literally every little thing that makes this car like pretty much feel like a clean title. So yeah guys, this wasn't the cheapest thing in the world, but this literally has everything and I'm super excited to put it on. So basically, I'm not gonna be connecting, we're actually gonna be removing the hood latches on both sides. We don't need those right now. So also this cable doesn't dangle, we're removing all that stuff. Um, as for the sides, there should, if there's anything else we have to remove, we will remove because basically we just want the thing to bolt onto the car and that's pretty much it. We're also gonna be removing these ducts just in case they get in the way because all we really need is the support from this. We want this to line up with the new one. Uh, we're trying to get a new uh, crash reel pretty soon here. We're trying to find a donut car. We're gonna be cutting it off. We're talking from our boys at BMA European and we're trying to get the new, pretty much the new support there. The frame shop's gonna need this. You might as well mount it. All we're gonna mount is gonna be the three screws here and then one screw down there and that's it. That's all we gotta do. Um, and then the frame shop will take care of all the framing stuff and then we're gonna take this back off uh, put everything back onto it, put it on, connect all the sensors, hood latches, and we should be able to rock and roll. So, that all being said, let's go ahead and take off everything that we need to take off. All right, guys, from looking inside of here, what is this? Oh, we need to take this thing out too. This is broken. So we have this thing we need to take out. I have the new ones that go into both sides that are actually good. Yeah, this is shot. And other than that, we removed uh, the back intakes. Let me just show you guys. So we removed those two. Uh, they also come with these little pieces here. So if you guys ever took about your front end and you see these little rubber things, they actually go right here. Uh, so we have those two. We also removed both hood latches just because of the sensor on there. We don't want that getting cut anywhere. And then also the, the cable and everything, that's gonna get in the way of everything. So now all we have to do is put it on, bolt it from these three bolts and then bolt it from right down here and then I'm not even gonna bolt it from the top they're gonna be messing with all that stuff at the frame shop just to make sure that they can get these two holes to line up with these two holes so what we're gonna end up doing we'll probably end up getting this thing uh unwelded and then over here probably gonna get a seam line like right there or something uh we're gonna see if that's a good idea or if we can kind of get it to blend somewhere else we'll figure that out but obviously if they're gonna have to remove the motor to cut far back we're not doing anything crazy like that because the damage is just right here this whole thing is good so we just need this replaced and yeah without further ado let's go ahead and try to throw this front clip in um i'm really excited but i'm also nervous i'm hoping everything lines up properly All right guys, so this hose is just sitting really weird like I said earlier. I don't know why, I think this thing needs to actually go back in more. So I'm gonna try to adjust the pump, see if that makes anything better or I don't. I really don't know. But let's go ahead and adjust the pump, turn it a little bit this way because even the frame rail right here or this one right here, it keeps hitting against this. It needs to go in more. So this also needs to shift back. So I'm gonna go ahead and just try to adjust that pump maybe in 
that kind of orientation, maybe that's gonna do the trick because also this sensor wire right here just has a lot of tension. I feel like if it goes this way, it would just fix that issue and it would just fix all of these issues. I'm just hoping this hose is supposed to go that way, um, this one right here, because if that's supposed to go the other way, then I'll be really confused. So let's just go ahead and loosen up the bracket. It's gonna be a pain to get to from this angle, but it is what it is. All right, guys, so what I, all I did, I don't know if you guys can see the pump here, um, but you can adjust the pump orientation. I can't even push it back now. I basically just pushed it back, and uh, now these hoses line up for the radiator perfectly. This thing doesn't have any weird flex to it. That's That honestly looks like how it's supposed to look. So I'm really happy about that. Um, at this point, let's just go see if we can even tighten that. That is such a weird angle to get that tightened. Oh, this is gonna suck. From this to this, um, this is slightly bent in the wrong direction, so I think you need to hammer this and adjust it. Because if you guys look at the other side, the other side's like straight and then curves up on the top. This right here, it just looks a little weird. So I guess we're just gonna keep hammering at it and try to get this straight up and then a little bit of a bend. It's gonna be a little bit of a mission, but we'll figure it out. All right guys, so this is how it's looking right now. We have the whole front clip on, which actually looks really good. Like literally looks like if we connect the two transmission coolers, we can take this on our drift track because who cares about all this extra stuff? But we do care because we're trying to make this thing look like a clean title. Anywho, looking at it from right here, everything looks pretty good. All the bolts lined up from down there up here. So this portion, this portion is good. Our only issue is obviously right here. And uh, on this side, was it so obvious? I don't know why these holes are not lining up with this. Um, we did get the three bolts on the the horn frame right there and we did get that bolt down there and everything lined up perfectly and uh, we did some measurements and this just looks good as well obviously this looks a little bit off but not too off so we're not really understanding what it is exactly what i'm gonna go ahead and do is just probably get a hood in we're gonna try to order a hood as soon as possible and then get it down to the frame shop so they can line up the gaps between the two fenders and they can figure out what's going on between this and this because once they figure out that and that and line this up the bumper should just pretty much bolt on we're not gonna have any issues with aligning the bumper but we need a hood asap i think we're gonna be also testing the frame with my boy muhammad's car so shout out to muhammad haven't seen him in a long time we need to compare the frames just to see is that one bent that would be unfortunate, but I guess we'll find out. All right, guys, so shout out to Muhammad. He just stopped by for me to check the gap. So honestly, on this side, the gap from here to here was perfect. So I'm not really too worried about that. And also the gap from here to here was perfect. So that honestly leads me like, why is the fender gap slightly off right there? But then why is this also? I, I really don't know, guys. So what we're going to want to do is just take that out of the free shop. They're professionals. We're just going to let them handle it. They're going to figure all this out. We're going to see the two screws there, the two screws there. That probably replaced. I don't It looks fixable, but probably replaced. And then, uh, yeah, then we can start bolting together everything else it should be honestly it, should, I, it just we have to wait for a few more things guys major things we have to wait for the frame stuff okay hold on before i talk about that stuff my brother just bought a bag load of food and i'm so hungry <laughs> but we have to wait on like other parts the hood and stuff like that so the next coming up videos are gonna be working and just having fun with the ia just enjoying that uh while we're waiting for the parts while we wait for this thing to get to the frame shop because once that gets all situated we throw on the hood throw on the headlights fix the little things fix the wiring and then we're good to go this thing's gonna be able to hit the track i already scheduled I tracked it with my boy Blake, so you guys are gonna see this on the track. So yeah, guys, we we're pretty much just have to let this go to the right hand. Let the body shop deal with it. Let the frame shop deal with it, because I don't really know how to deal with it. So we're gonna, we're just gonna need them to deal with. It. Meantime, let's go ahead and clear all the lights on the dash. So if anything that's new that pops up, we'll kind of know. It keeps saying my battery place, not charged, it says replaced, which is kind of worrying me because that's a very expensive battery. So let's go ahead and clear all the lights and see if that comes back. Maybe it's saying that because of that battery thing that blew in the back. So once we clear it, we should be good. So yeah, let's go ahead and clear that stuff and um and then we're gonna have to go to the pile of junk again to get all the oil cooler mounts because there's little mounting things that go in these holes and once you put them in there then they actually bolt on if you don't actually put the mounting things on here you can't actually bolt it on to right there so uh yeah we'll get that probably after we eat but um i can clear the lights right now and i'm just i don't know i really want to do that it's like a very satisfying feeling another thing we're gonna have to order guys i blocked this off and then i realized this whole thing just comes out 
because it's broken. The tab right here is broken. So, uh, more money, you know. Um, Please cop some merch to support your boy and be shot in the next video because things are just keep adding up and I think this is gonna be a very, very expensive uh, uh, frame repair. It doesn't, it honestly could be a whole lot worse, but uh, it's still not gonna be that cheap. Shout out to all those other YouTube channels that literally do frame shop work on their own channel. Like they have a frame shop, they have their own business that do frame work. Huge shout out to them as somebody like me, like probably like you guys that work from our garage. Unfortunately, we don't have the space for a frame machine at my parents' house because then I would be kicked out and um, anywho. Carly's officially hooked up. I don't know if you guys can see it. Come on, come. Okay, well, it's right there. I don't know if you can see it. Believe me, believe me. So next up, going to put this thing in accessory mode. Replace battery. You can continue driving, no roadside. Promptly schedule an appointment with your service center uh, to get the battery replaced. Aw, oh, man, let's clear the lights. Hopefully, we don't see that ever again. Opening up Carly, okay. This is the first time we're adding the M4. So you're gonna go BMW. Uh, where is the M4? Oh, actually, I think it's a four series. 2015 for gasoline. Let's go ahead and connect this bad boy. 110 issues found. <laughs> it's only going up. It makes sense. The whole front clip was missing. <laughs> 180 issues <laughs> oh man guys i pulled a prank on my brother when he didn't know anything about cars and i told him that his car has 194 issues not 100 i told him that his car had 110 issues something like that or something really crazy and he literally started sobbing and crying and it was my honestly I, I felt like so bad when i did it but i did it for you guys and it was so dumb all right guys so we have all the, the codes we have literally a bazillion so many uh we're just gonna click clear codes it's gonna clear the codes look on the dash if anything goes away um, I think the TPM has to stay. Well, it's gonna go for now because, but I mean, I, I don't have TPMS sensors. The brake light should go away as well once I release the e-brake. Let me go and actually release that real quick. Yeah, e-brake is gone. And that check engine should go, but it will come back because we still have a lot of things that need to get situated there. This car is really weird because it's kind of like a manual. When you when the car is in park, it's not really in park, it's in neutral. So you have to have the e-brake up or the car will roll back, which is crazy. Honestly, guys, I was always a fan of the sunroof. Uh, okay, more codes are clearing. I was always a huge fan of sunroofs, but this carbon stuff, I mean, just look at it. It is the coolest thing ever. I legit just want to put a cage in here and oh my God. But then you have to see these ugly curtain airbags and I would have to leave those. I don't want to gut those, but it looks so good guys. Let me know, should we just leave the, the hood? I mean the roof exposed like this or maybe make a cutout, like probably do some kind of custom cutout with the headliner to expose the carbon. I think that would be a great idea. You would hear the rain, but it'd be so cool. So let me know about down below, guys. It is still clearing the issues. Man, this thing must have a gazillion issues if it's still clearing. Stop making videos. Yeah, we have to go eat, guys, but I, I'm just, I just really need to clear all these lights. It's almost done, it's almost done. Dude, it says replace the battery. Sheesh. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> look at look it. at this thing right here. It just says, keep using it. <laughs> I know, right? It says replace battery. You can continue driving. No roadsides re required, but it says you need to replace battery. Nope. I know. The car's gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> I know. The car is just gonna have to fix itself. I'm not. I guess it's a very expensive battery. All right, guys. I said it cleared everything, but we still have the replace battery error. That's pretty much good for now. We have a list of codes. We're gonna have to try to knock it out in the next couple of videos. But meantime, your boy's gonna go eat. Oh no! And we'll deal with the car in a little bit. <laughs> we got our three gaskets and our three things. I mean, honestly, this is... Whew, I don't know how much you're going to be able to charge me for this. Probably at least 50 bucks. So, luckily, we just got $50 out of some garbage. And uh, let's go and phone on the car, get the oil cooler mounted. That's all we need to do to pretty much get this thing down in the frame shop. The gaskets on the oil cooler so bada bing bada bang that's all we had to do on all four sides now yeah we should be able to actually bolt it up on both sides we're gonna have to figure out a way to get that to work out but we'll figure it out so i'll set you guys a little time lapse and hopefully get that thing bolted up right now all right guys so we have the oil cooler now officially mounted we had two screws there one screw there basically the screw that it basically screwed into like the nut was broken on all three of them i don't know why this is a whole brand new one uh, but there is a couple of bent things. For example, like the this thing was bent, this thing was bent. Um, a couple things on the bottom was bent. We hammered it all out. We got everything sorted out. Uh, but also those little brackets down that were bent. And it looks like this may have been in a minor small front end accident. But everything was still salvageable. So that's why they sold all the parts. But I, I imagine like even though this was still in a minor front end accident, they still sold everything here for about how much? Like $1,500. 
this is how much a front clip costs on an M4, and that's just the, the, the metal pieces. That's not considering the radiators, the brackets, and everything. I'm pretty sure a full front clip, like literally everything from like here to here, um, considering everything replaces, it's about like four to five grand, which is ridiculous. That's without the headlights, of course, and uh, all the other stuff. So yeah, rebuilding an M car is not the cheapest thing in the world, but it's definitely gonna be worthwhile once we get this thing down to the track and we enjoy it. But anywho, now that we have everything pretty much situated, we're gonna have to call it a night. I'll either check back with you guys in another day or this video is gonna go out and we'll hopefully get new parts for the next video because we're still waiting on the hood. We're still waiting for the curtain airbag uh, tool. If this is uh, the, the end of this video, I love you guys so much. Uh, remember to stay humble and I'll see you guys in the next one. If it isn't, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So. Later, guys.